Revelation 2536, from the 3rd of November 1942. Responsibility of Educators Love of Truth The man who exercises an educational office and leads the souls entrusted to him astray is burdened with an enormous responsibility. As soon as he teaches, he must also be completely convinced of what he is teaching, otherwise he must not transfer his knowledge to others. This is especially true of teachings that relate to spiritual things, that is, teachings that are meant to educate the soul. If he is convinced of the truth of these teachings, then he also has the right to represent this conviction. But in order to be convinced, he must have thought through the teachings himself and have taken a stand on them with the full will to stand in the truth. Then he will also be able to answer for his educational ministry before God, for he is now acting to the best of his knowledge when he exercises this ministry. But as soon as he only passes on knowledge which he himself has received in exactly the same way, without being fully convinced of its truth, he is guilty of the educated thinking of the people entrusted to him, for he is, as it were, imposing a knowledge on them which can be far removed from the truth. But he has the task of watching over the knowledge of those, he must guard them from error, or from teachings which are so unclear that they only confuse the thinking, for this is his office which he is to administer conscientiously. But he can carry out his office calmly if he takes refuge in God if he appeals to him for enlightenment and for his support, thus if he commends the souls of the people entrusted to him to God that he may protect them from error or wrong thinking. He must be aware of his responsibility and only want to represent the pure truth, then God will also strengthen his will and his power of realization, and he will only pass on what he can fully affirm, what is therefore regarded by him as truth and therefore it is of particular importance for a teaching strength to intimately unite with God and appeal to him for his support and blessing, because not only his salvation but also that of the pupils entrusted to him is in danger if divine grace does not make his activity a blessed one, if God does not give him fullest knowledge whether and when he is in truth. For one day he will have to answer for himself and he will be called to account for the souls to whom he should proclaim the truth. Amen.